<laughs> this guy. You're doing an interview right now? Yo, what up? I'm McCade. I'm the art director. I also did some slate work. Yo, is this an interview right now? <laughs> Yo, so you think yeah. Gallagher is your camera operator? It's just like... <laughs> I had an amazing crew and they all did an amazing job. I wasn't planning on being on set all three days, but I loved my first day on set and I came back both days and, and um, helped out the other producers however I could. And action! Everyone was doing their part and it was a pretty big production. There was a lot of people involved and uh, I created a lot of bonds with uh, a lot of the people. Most of the prep that I did was I just had meetings with Colby and when we were first looking at it we were like, oh we're gonna get this in a super short amount of time, but we also planned for if things went longer, which they did, and we were able to still get everything we needed that weekend. I've been AD on a few different sets, but this was my favorite one because of the director and just his process and I don't know I felt like we worked really well together and we were able to make something super great. I love that challenging part and I think that that was my favorite part of this short film and I got to work with Colby, I got to work with Jose, with Carlos, with people that I really enjoy working with and it's always been my favorite part to be able to work with people that I can connect, that I can relate, that I can learn from and being able to go past those challenges I think have made me a better filmmaker. But you're going to be standing up. I'm not saying you. And... It was a huge learning experience, honestly, just learning to light a scene like that and how to cover a scene with two cameras and eight characters and we're doing 13 pages of dialogue with no breaks, essentially, in that dialogue. So it was how do we make it flow across multiple days to make it seem like it was all shot at one moment and how do we get enough coverage of each character so that we can tell the story the best way we can in the edit. And it was just a lot of trial and error and learning. Ben, are you sure you don't want to fix your story? Fix my story? You heard Mrs. Livingston, if you can't explain yourself, this is only going to get worse. Prep for this one was just hundreds of hours of lighting tests. Like we were in there once a week, sometimes twice a week, and it went through so many different stages of lighting setups. Like where we started was one light that we would walk around between each shot. Eventually it became a Rolflex menace armed over top of the table so that we didn't have to move any lights and that lighting was consistent across every shot. So it was just a huge evolution, but it really serviced us in the end. I want to export dailies, but everything else is taking so long. This is actually, to my knowledge, the first time that a UTU film has had a designated room for Video Village with a complicated two camera setup as well as a two boom setup with our sound system. I have to give props to Dylan Pfizer, our sound mixer, who did an incredible job maintaining eight lav mics as well as two boom channels, which must have been really stressful and strenuous on his ears and his brain, as well as our camera crew, which had our two incredible ACs, Ava, Nash, and Riley, who were watching those monitors closely and pulling focus and just were so invested. Is this true, Ben? Ben. Colby is a great writer and a great director. I was very interested to see how he was going to tackle something that's very uh, emotionally fraught. It's not an easy subject to deal with at all, and I think that makes for a very interesting story. And the story has a very unique and complex message that isn't necessarily easy for everybody to take in, and I feel like Colby has approached it in such a way that you can sit down in the theater and you can be uncomfortable by the situation, but by the end of it, you are more aware of certain aspects of life that you probably didn't know about before. It's always a good thing if a story is relevant or important because there's stories that need to be told. However, in this particular case, I think it's a great movie and I think a very good director is behind it. The story is so powerful, I was not expecting it. It was a ride of emotions and I felt connected to the characters. And I think that that was the most important thing for me. It voiced situations around the world that actually happen that not a lot of films talk about. 
It deals with a lot of thematic elements, and I think Colby is doing a great job of telling the story that feels like it needs to be told more often, it feels like it needs to be understood by people who don't necessarily understand the feelings that these characters are going through. I wanted to paint a portrait of what it's like to be in those situations and to be extremely uncomfortable and put on the spot and basically force the audience to feel as misunderstood as these characters do. It really led to what I believe is the best possible version of this story and I couldn't be more happy with what I got.